Hello everyone and welcome to Redstone Creations. This is going to be my first video in like three months. I know I've been gone for quite some time, but uh, I had some, you know, personal issues that I need to take care of. Um, and, but, but now, basically, I am back in the YouTube game and I'm hoped to being more energetic and, and, you know, descriptive and everything like I always am, even more so. Hmm, I don't know if that made a whole lot of sense, but basically I'm back in. The today's video is going to be a revisit of an older design that I did um, for an automatic sliding door in Minecraft, and uh, it's going to be for a combo lock door uh, for, with levers. And uh, I've made this design before, like I've already said, uh, on January 8th, 2013. So it's been a year and four months or so since I did it, and uh, I've I've had a lot of questions on it. Um, People liked it. I actually got really good reviews. It's like 87 likes and four dislikes at this this time that I'm recording. Um, but one of the main comments that I keep seeing on it is, how do you close it from the other side once you have opened it from the inside? So, I or well, not inside, but outside, I guess. Um, and the reason for that is there'll be some combo locks over here, some levers, and you open it. And you go in, and then there was no way to close it once you were in your room or whatever. Um, so I've redesigned it. It's a better design anyway, and you can close it from the inside. Okay, so without further ado, let's look at these colors real fast. The pink here is going to be blocks that I'm going to break. The yellow is blocks I am not going to break. And the blue are blocks that I'm also not going to break, but they're going to put redstone on it, some sort of redstone. So that being said, we're going to place our pistons for the door. Okay, just like so. Then we want to have our actual door in place, so I'm going to use glass for that. So this is a two-wide, three-high door uh, when it's closed, I guess. Uh, it can be easily made too high if you don't want to do this top piece, so that's fine. The next step is to place our blocks right here, a block here and a block here and then place redstone torches underneath of it, and this will cause it to close. So if you want a two by two door, this is all you have to do. But if you want it to be a three high as well, you just place the redstone dust right on top of it, like that. And now you have a three by, or <laughs> two wide, three high door. Okay, so this is closed, obviously. And um, we're just gonna break these first blocks here the first pink blocks to go down like that and these ones underneath here here and here and I a little I messed up a little bit on my color scheme um, we need to be able to place something here as well so just break that block that was blue right here real fast and place that redstone dust and you can place it back okay so the redstone dust under there and you have this trail of redstone here uh, what this is going to do is I'm going to place a torch right there, right here specifically on this block, and it's going to make the default for now being open for this door. Don't worry about that. Okay, then on this side is a little different. We're going to place it here where it's on this block. So this one, this side has the block under here. Whichever side you want to put your lever on is going to have it on the block here and this side will have it here now if you want to redesign it and put it under here and then put the torch here like the other one you can I mean that's just not the way that I did it okay so we got that now the door is defaultly open uh, and that's fine because now to the next stage this is where we're gonna actually connect our lever and uh, what you want to do is make a platform as long as as many levers as you want so for this case, I want five levers, right? They're going to be side by side. Um, and I guess I could have made just a wall, but that's fine. Okay, so do that. And we're going to get a lever, because I apparently removed it from my hotbar. And we're going to place levers on top and redstone along the back like this. Okay, then you have to decide what combo you want to do. So if I want the combo to be, uh, let's say, this one, this one, and this one. The first, middle, and last one. 
then I want to place the torches on the first, the middle, and the last spot. Okay, then between those you just connect it here. And what this does is makes it to where if any of these are off, the door will be able to open any of the valid ones. But if any of them are on, the door will be lit and so will be closed. So that being said, let's take away our pink blocks here and take our redstone dust from here and all the way down to here and place a uh, repeater there. So now the door is closed because my combination is wrong. Okay, and it opens when my combination is correct. Now, keep in mind that if the redstone dust from this farthest point, the farthest spot you want these um, torches at, if the redstone dust is a count of 16 or more, it will not make it to this repeater. So, if I count here, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so we're good. But if it hits 16, it's not going to work, you're too far away, but you could extend the signal by putting another repeater. And then this, for my purposes, right, would be now 8 length to this repeater. And then you have to make sure that it doesn't go over 16 after this repeater. So you can make this really far away if you wanted to, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, but you could hide it, like in the wall or something like that, pretty easily. Okay, so there's our combo lock door, and we're open. But see, now we have the problem that we had the last time that I made this video, and that's that you can't close it from this side. You open it from this side, you can't close it from this side. And that's where these blocks come in. So we break our pink blocks, like, just like that. We take a repeater, and we place it here. And a redstone dust here and we put a lever now when I do that it lights the redstone dust underneath this block causing this one to turn off and it to flip-flop from what it was before and since we're getting the signal from this block for this side as well it also powers that side flipping it just the way we want it now I have to ha throw out a little um, a little problem with this. Uh, it's not really a problem for mo the most part unless you have another exit to the room. And that's basically that. Once I have closed this, there is no way, absolutely no way, to do anything on this side. Okay? And the real problem is that now, if somebody comes along and flips those levers, you're stuck in that room. So. Those are the downsides to what I have done here and now. And now it can easily be made to open from this side if that is what you want it to do. If I want to be able to open the door now that it is closed, like now that these have all been flipped you know, and whatnot, and I have made it to where this is no longer on, so the door should be open, but somebody has messed with it, then you will have to do a second lever on this side and removing the torch and making the torch pattern just like on the other side so that it's like this with the redstone torch underneath it and the block on top okay and then you have to put a piston a block on top and this now even when it's closed all right this would be the default right here so now even if somebody has gone and flicked all those levers you're able to open one side and get out and then you would have to reach through and flick it again in order to close the door because now you've overridden it completely and it wouldn't have been able to go okay and that is all I have time for I hope you guys liked it if you did please hit that like button okay see you later guys